First is Borju Baker from uh, Communication. Uh, she's an assistant professor of urban futures and communication. Uh, she received her PhD from Columbia. Uh, she has two master's degrees, one from University of London and one from NYU. Um, <clears throat> her research examines the social and cultural implications of digital technologies with a particular focus on cities, governance, and social inequalities. Her talk, Get Smart, How Cities Become Data-Driven. Please welcome Borju. Brand new to campus, by the way. And her first four at four. <laughs> All right, um, so like John said, I study uh, the social and cultural implications of digital technologies in relation to uh, social inequality. And for the last five years, I've been examining this question in the context of cities as more and more places are adopting algorithmic systems and data-driven practices in local governance. But before I um, fully dive into my topic, um, just by a show of hands, how many of you have heard the term smart city before? Okay, that's a lot of hands, and that saves me a full minute. Um, <laughs> but for those of you who may be less familiar with the concept, uh, a smart city is a place where urban environments are augmented by digital infrastructures. Think about sensors and sewage lines or um, like cameras on traffic lights. Uh, the goal is to generate real-time uh, troves of data and then build a data-driven local governance model that would ostensibly run the city more effectively, efficiently, and according to some people, uh, more equitably. In my book project, I'm interested in rather big questions about like why the phenomenon of smart cities have uh, become so appealing in the last 10, 15 years, um, how, in what ways local residents and public officials become enthusiastic or suspicious about becoming smart, and most importantly, how this new way of looking at the city through dashboards, uh, predictive models, and surveillance technologies uh, change the way we understand and experience urban inequalities. To do this research, I lived in Kansas City, Missouri for three years um, and conducted ethnographic field work uh, when the city, uh, the municipality partnered with Google and Cisco to test a citywide smart city pilot. I was able to see how they designed the system, how they implemented it, all the way through how they evaluated the um, consequences. And Kansas City is really, truly your uh, average American city in terms of size, socioeconomic parameters, uh, and also the fact that it's a pretty divided place spatially, and that meant that there were a lot of long-standing social problems that local government wanted to fix using these novel uh, systems, uh, smart system technologies as well as data-driven systems. So in the next couple of minutes, I want to talk about how public officials went from seeing the city from that rather bird-eye view to interfacing with dashboards and um, data sets. In other words, how does a local government learn to see like a smart city? And this also brings me back to my title, Get Smart, uh, which references an old TV show uh, from the late 60s that was centered around inept, clumsy, but very confident attempts at discovering truth or solving problems. Uh, because it turns out most of these smart data-driven systems are built with a significant amount of what I call deliberate ignorance wherein public officials and technologists um, like actively push past existing data sets or existing knowledge and, and uh, long-standing issues and instead choose to combine different types of data and models in the name of discovering novel problems, not solutions, novel problems that they did not know existed. Um, most of the time, the data that they have are rarely big enough so they export data sets from other places or sometimes even purchase them pro from private vendors. Uh, and as you can imagine, these questionable practices run the risk of uh, violating you know, residents' privacy or perpetuating existing stereotypes baked in separate data sets. But more importantly, they result in inadequate governing tools that are usually behind proprietary software. So despite all the shiny hype and utopian promises, learning to see like a smart city um, is a slow, unglamorous, task-by-task -task process. Uh, and, and it's actually moving in the direction of uh, making local governance less accountable to the public in the long run. Thank you.